I could stay like this Forever following you Just don't get too far And I'll be right where you are Julia here. Today I'm going to do a, a get ready with me video uh, of how to style for your first date. I've been planning on uh, doing this video for quite a while and after I uploaded my last video I, I was super super sick. I was pretty much dead for like three days. So the makeup tutorial I'm about to show you um, was actually taken on another day when I was actually becoming sick so I might look a little bit different. I tried to recreate the look um, on myself today um, using exactly the same products. If you would like to know how I got this makeup look and the outfit all together please keep on watching. Hi everyone, uh, I just got out of the shower and I've just finished a basic skincare steps. So I first sprayed the La Mer Mist uh, to prep my skin, followed by the Melton Moisturizing Lotion by Kenzoki, and the Moisturizing Cream uh, from the same range as the lotion. So without further ado, uh, let's get into the makeup tutorial. This is my absolute favorite primer. It has a very watery texture and gives you hydrating and cooling feeling as you blend. Uh, but it helps to control the oil on your face and helps the foundation to stick on the skin surface really nicely at the same time. I'm layering the Tone Up Cushion before I apply my foundation to give a brightening effect. This Tone Up Cushion helps to make your skin look transparent and gives a healthy lit from within glow. I am concentrating this on the inner part of my face, then blend out outwards. I chose the Luminous Silk Foundation particularly because A. It has a light to medium coverage B. It has anti-fatigue benefits Because I don't think the guys would like girls with heavy makeup on so um, if you and if you haven't had much sleep the night before because you're too excited for the date uh, your skin wouldn't be at its best state uh, especially on an important day uh, when you want to look really good and flawless remember to use less amount but more layers I am literally using the amount I showed you on the back of my hand to apply the whole face Use the temperature of your palm to press the foundation in so it is absorbed in nicely. I'm using two concealers for blendability and coverage. And also to create a perfect shade to match my skin tone. Apply as thin as possible on the areas you would like to cover, just roughly. Then move on to the next area, then repeat the same. When you're done doing that on all the areas, wipe off the remaining concealer on the brush and go back to the first area, then start blending the edges only. If you touch and blend the exact spot you would like to conceal, the concealer would come off.
for under eye area, use what is left over on the back of your hand and uh, tap on and blend away. I do this because if you use a clean fingertip to blend, a lot of it is transferred onto your fingertips so the coverage lessens. I mean, you could use a sponge or a buffing brush, but uh, personally, I love using my hands and fingers all the time. I'm using this powder with illuminating particles inside to give a nice glow and this color has a slight golden feel to it and it just makes my skin look like I am naturally sun-kissed, which I love. This works really well and looks super natural on top of the foundation. It is a really great alternative to a regular bronzer. The first date makeup should be all about being naturally beautiful, so this was a perfect item to warm up my face with. Concentrate this on the tops of your cheeks and the bridge of your nose, then uh, brush away the whole face with what is left. This is the most natural highlighter I have in my collection and this one is really popular among um, all the makeup gurus or especially I mean makeup beginners because it gives you a natural sheen, not chunks of shimmer or glitter. Especially if you have large pores on your nose, skip using the highlighter. Do not emphasize the area you want to hide with the highlighter. I think applying on the tops of your cheeks would be just enough. I'm using the Heather Pop and the Cola Pop uh, from Clinique. Wipe off the excess on the tissue so you don't make any mistake with the highly pigmented blushes like these. First, apply Heather Pop in an oval shape on the entire cheek area. Then apply the Color Pop in the uh, center of the cheeks to give a watercolor effect. I haven't added any extra powder, just blend the cheek area with the brush you used previously for seamless blending. Sorry, my lips felt so dry, I had to add some lip balm on. <laughs> This is the new nude palette from the Huda Beauty. Look at the colors! I can use these colors for everyday use um, as well as for these special occasions. Most of these colors would suit anyone. The first shade I'm using is the Play. I'm blending it in my crease as a transition shade. Then connect it to the bottom lash line. Then I'm taking the lace and applying on the outer corner to add a little bit of mauve color. Next, I'm taking the raw and deepening the outer corner to give a um, brownish feel. Blend nicely with the brush uh, you used to uh, apply the first shade uh, without adding any more product.
I am taking the crave and placing it uh, at the center of my eyelids only. Lastly, I'm taking the bare shade to brighten up and subtly highlight the inner corners and brush it lightly under the eyebrows to clean up the brow line. I have very sparse and short eyelashes but with the Kiss Me Mascara, I can create really beautiful, long and full lashes. You really need the patience to coat your lashes with the thinnest layer possible and build up slowly so they don't get clumpy. Use the wiggly motion to add volume. And as you can see me dancing, I feel really happy when I apply mascara because that's when I see the biggest difference. I'm brushing my brows with a tinted eyebrow mascara to lighten my eyebrow color. And tips here, I'm doing this before I fill in my brows. Why? This way you will avoid yourself from making your brows too dark or uh, thick and unnatural. So I would brush them with mascara first to hold them into the right places, then fill in the gaps between the eyebrows. I know guys, I know it is an eyeliner. I'm sure you you have seen me using this every single time I did the makeup tutorial. Um, but this is the best thing I can find to match my eyebrow color. Um, it is the it is of the perfect intensity. It glides on so smoothly and effortlessly. Just follow your natural eyebrow shape or make soft arched brows. Use a flat brush to clean up the edges. I'm taking a nude pink shade to finish this makeup look. 
It looks like a very warm undertone shade in the video, but in real life it is much cooler and I felt like I needed a slight hint of warmth, um, so I added the orange shade to um, mix with. I think guys would want to kiss a glossy and plumped lips rather than matte and wrinkly lips. <laughs> so I'm applying a little bit of gloss on top. Lipstick on teeth is the last thing you want to show to your date. Use a tissue to wrap it around your finger and remove the excess in the inner part of your lips carefully. Then here is the final look. So this uh, is the palette I picked up, um, was it last week or the week before? Um, anyway, it's very warm and feminine and kind of girlish at the same time, which is an ideal set of colors to go for um, on your first date. Let me show you the details of um, this outfit. So I'll have to zoom out a little bit. Uh, see you in a second. Um, this is the um, outfit I chose for the <laughs> uh, first date. Um, I really wanted to go for a like really like super super feminine look. I'm wearing this floral blouse on top along with the burgundy color A-line um, high-waisted skirt. This is really perfect to make yourself look super feminine um, and the material of uh, both of these actually are very flowy and uh, comfortable. In fact this is actually not a blouse. This is actually a play suit guys. Um, I've actually layered a, a skirt over on top to make it into a sort of like different, uh, uh, give it a different vibe to it. But let me show you. <laughs> I'm like stripping on camera. <laughs> so yeah, that's actually how it looks. This is a play suit. I mean, it looks really gorgeous as it is. It's really comfortable. Um, but I thought from, you know, top to bottom, all these floral patterns all over, I feel like there's too much going on and I thought it would be a um, better idea to add something like a, you know, a block of color on top to make it more neat. Because it is a high-waisted skirt, it definitely makes my uh, legs look longer and the A-line design makes my legs look slimmer. It's definitely something for you to uh, take note of if you have the same body shape as me. I have a pear-shaped pear body. This really helps to cover up my um, the buttocks and the upper thigh area. So let me put that back on. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Hopefully I have given you an idea of how to dress up or style yourself for the uh, first date. If you do have a first date, good luck. Hope you have a very romantic first date ever and see you guys all next time.